Minister for Integration Roderick O'Gorman has said that his department is considering using accommodation aboard barges or moored ships known as flotels to house people seeking international protection. If it proceeds, the use of so-called flotels is not expected until later on in the year. So it won't help the current uh, shortfall of, of beds. I think it's 190 unaccommodated um, asylum seekers is the current daily number but it's, it's up and down depending but it got us thinking about how we're dealing with immigration this morning Shane and, and I suppose how we're talking about it too Yeah I look I'm, I'm kind of a little bit worried where this is going I think the last couple of weeks have shown us uh, that rightly or wrongly the nation's hospitality is finite it's starting to wear thin I think a perception is taking hold that Irish people are losing out I'm hearing from TDs that they're hearing on the ground, you know, the line, we can't even house our own. Uh, I, and, I, and there's also that, that kind of ugly message coming through on social media that I think is starting to come into the, the general conversation as well, that, you know, there's a danger to women here from immigrants and stuff. Now, there's absolutely no basis for that at all, but those kind of fears are, are being stoked. I think we've managed up to now to keep migration out of politics, but I think that is under strain. And when I hear mainstream and even centre left politicians, you know, backing protesters against asylum seekers being um, housed in their area, that makes me worried. And I think politicians need to be really, really careful because, you know, it's fine to attack the government and criticise the government about how they're handling this, but there's a real danger of ratcheting up attentions. And I fear immigration is going to become the number one issue in politics alongside housing. And I fear it's going to get ugly. Well, that would be very much in keeping with politics throughout the rest of Europe. And migration is we've ignored, a, an we've, issue. We've missed that yeah, up to now. We haven't we had have, that. And I think that we're going to see more of it because never mind even the war in Ukraine and, and other humanitarian crises crea- creating a kind of a, a flow of migrants. Climate change is going to create a flow of migrants. And I, I am one of the people who believe you need to talk about things if you're going to deal with them. I don't, for a long time, you couldn't get a politician to discuss migration and for a long time, the media wouldn't touch it either. But I I, I think that day... Is that has, a bad thing? N- no, I, I think it is a bad thing because I believe, mm. I, I'm with Bertrand Russell, the philosopher here, who says the degree of one's emotions varies inversely with one's knowledge of the facts. I think if we don't talk about things, we let a void exist and the far right will move into it. But Prof Dolan from, from UCG was quoted in the Irish Examiner this morning saying... The conversation has been highlighted by the far left and the far right. And, and, and I think that's almost the case with everything in politics at the moment. We need to listen to valid concerns. Not everybody's concern makes them a, a, a racist and, 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 a, and a fascist or those things. So you have to listen to ordinary people and their concerns and deal with them. But equally, you cannot, I, I suppose, go too far the other way either. Yeah, the, we the, need the, to listen to them, not just take them on, you know, not just take them as gospel Look, either. I, I,